In today's video, I'm going to be talking about this Carl Zeiss 135 f3.5 lens. And I'm going to show you how to install the pixel valve replacement back converter, which converts this M42 lens into a Nikon F mount lens and gives you complete manual functionality. The, um, the first thing to do is notice these screws. We've got five screws in total and the ones to take out first is going to be these slightly larger screws. They're countersunk 16mm M2 screws. And the, um, the reason it's awkward is because I'm doing it left-handed and that's because my right hand is on the camera focusing with the Flectagon manual Nikon lens. So it's a, it can be tricky. Sometimes I'm going to need to focus and tune that lens in. And it's always good to have a magnet on the end of your screwdriver because these things are incredibly fiddly and to lose one of these screws or the ball bearing or something like that is a pain. So I always recommend having a little magnet on the end of that screwdriver. There you go, that's the that's one of the countersunk screws up close. Now we can't use countersunk screws on the plastic um, back plates because it wouldn't have enough plastic to hold on to. Later on I'll show you what I'm going to do about that. So now that we've taken those three screws out, if we remove the back, you'll notice that the whole assembly comes out in one piece. And this can work for some jobs, but for this particular job, it's, it's not going to work. We need to remove the other screw, the screw that holds everything in place. Now, the screw we want is the one that's furthest away from the aperture pin. This is what releases the aperture chassis from the rear most chassis. And there's the screw, look how small that is. You wouldn't want to lose that. It's always handy to keep these things in a bag safe because it, this is a non-destructive uh, conversion. You can you can convert this back to an M42 using this method. There you go, there's the four screws that we need. So the next thing to do is to hold that aperture ring and carefully take the back off. Inside you notice that the entire unit is, is still attached to the back of the inside of this lens plate. So you're not going to lose any of those things. Everything comes out as it is, but you're going to need to put something in now which replaces that mechanism. You see, the mechanism is something that depresses this little pin inside the camera and I'll try and get you a closer shot here and if we can look at the mechanism and compare it with the the other you'll, you'll see exactly what's going on. This little lever here so when the pin moves up and down this moves from side to side and it catches this little notch here and as you can see it moves it moves the iris in and out. But we need to put this thing over it. Now this is what we're going to use to keep that pin down, effectively keep it down. So all you need to do is place this over the throat of the rear element and then push the notch in and clip it over. And it's as simple as that. 
it's really easy. And I've been using my lens like this for about a year. So I can tell you that it does definitely work and it's very reliable. It's a beautiful lens to use. As you can see, you can see there that the the notch is well held in place. The spring actually keeps that from moving. And it is a 3D printed part too, that's uh, printed on my FDM printer. And of course it doesn't need to be beautiful for this internal part. It's, uh... Make sure that you, you put the lens back together as it was. As you can see here I've missed the, the uh, slider there. Um, and you have to be careful doing that because there's a ball bearing in that section that, that can come out if you're not incredibly careful. This is the easy bit. We're just going to stick the new back plate onto that camera using uh, onto the camera lens using three screws, and it's really simple. But there is a trick that's going to help you here a little bit. On the back plate, there's there's a notch, a, a little mark. And the mark is something that would normally allow you to mate the lens to the camera in the right place. There it is. That's the one. But we can also use this to mate the, the back plate on into the right position on the lens by looking for that little line, the red mark there. As you can see, they just line up and sit nicely together. Now it's simply a case of just placing the screws in one by one. I like to put them in first and then tighten them all up like you would with a car wheel perhaps if you've had a flat tire. So this is the uh, original metal screw that I've shown you earlier and I'm going to show you now the other screws. So when you get this in a kit you're going to get some screws, these screws, these countersunk screws which are exactly the same apart from being countersunk and with a hex bolt uh, attachment. So unfortunately you can't use the same screwdriver, you do need to change attachments which isn't really a big problem and I, I can imagine that it would be really easy to find a um, a hex bolt for this. So there we go. They go in quite easily. It's an easy thing to do. Make sure that it's just right. before you tighten them up. So here we are, here's the um, screwdriver I was using and now I'm just going to change the heads on there to a allen key or a hex bolt whichever way you're familiar with it. I got this screwdriver from a dollar store which is a pound shop in the UK They go in quite nicely these, it's, um, it's exactly the same screw uh, thread and pitch, it's, it's the, same, the same thing. So you, in the kit you're going to get the back plate, the set of screws and the, um, the, uh, the, the aperture pin compressor. And there we have it. Look how beautiful that is. Look, look at the precision and perfection on that back plate. It is beautiful. It's nice and crisp. Now, 
I've been using one of these on my camera for quite a long time. Obviously, I'm going to have to test it rigorously before I release this for sale. So I have done and it is tough, really tough. It's a very nice lens. It's it's such a pity that Nikon users are excluded from the M42 um, collection of lenses because there are some fantastic lenses out there. And I'm slowly building up a little collection of, of M42 converters for these. So if you want this and you fancy trying this out, head over to the link underneath and you can just grab one. Um, alternatively, there is another way to do it using rings. It's a little bit in, more involved, but you can download this uh, Infinity Rings for this Nikon. You can um, download it for free from my Thingiverse if you need to, um, but it really isn't the best way to do it. This backplate is the the best way uh, to use one of these. But if you did want to try it out the other way, uh, it's great. You can just download it and, and give it a go. Anyway, if you enjoyed that video and you found it valuable, um, head over to the like button just below there. Smash that like and um, jump up and down on that subscribe thing. And if and when I make a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching.